Welcome to Bruin Review. When I'm on the internet, I'm watching Bruin View. Ooh. What do you got? I got Half Acre Bootum. In the past, in the future. That's their slogan. This is their IPA. It's got a mountain that's spewing lava out its uh, booty hole. Most times lava comes out the top. I right? thought so, yeah. You know, like if you look at this, it's got a little bit of glare. Most times it'll come out the this part, but it's coming out of the uh, dead center, the booty hole. Did you notice yeah, that? Yeah, that's upsetting. Why? Why would it do that? A different town. A different town, different time. I'm glad you asked. I'm drinking Saga Talks. What are you drinking? I've been on a Saga Talk kick. They drop beer off. This is summer on the brain all year long. This is their blueberry lemonade shandy. And uh, I'll tell you what, shandies are traditionally like low ABV, like two to three percent. Saga Talk's such a baller. They said ours is gonna be five percent. We're not gonna get you any less drunk just because it's a tasty lemonade. I'll tell you what. There might not be a creepier spokesman for a beer than that lemon-headed freak <laughs> sitting on the bottom of that Imagine can. that thing waking you up at night. Oh my god, the entire cast of Dallas Buyers Club is in bed with me. Man, dude, I wonder how... That's so sad that I'm sure you thought of that joke a while ago and then used it and then watched it you just and burn look, no, like you a look, Kennedy in a plane. You, I feel good about that joke. You look like Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club. Thank you. If he was went to a pop punk concert in 2003 and then stayed there. Dude, how many of these jokes did you write? And are any of them I'm good? improvising. <laughs> I think my audience is... Uh, every, all, the, all, all the Sean fans. You accidentally already told me that you wrote a bunch of jokes while you were running. Yeah, it was See, a, that's true. Did you know that guy? About how skinny Corey He's got. just in the gym, on the treadmill, yeah. thinking of jokes about me. Yeah, that's what I do. As I pass the time, I think about ways to insult you. And then how you'll say they're not good jokes, but inside I know they're You good. must not be running much, because you're not coming up with anything good. <laughs> no, how, you can only get fat by not doing work. <laughs> Anywho, what are we eating? I have absolutely no idea. It's your responsibility to bring the packaging over, and then you probably threw it away. threw it away and took the garbage out. This is uh, some sort of a um, mandarin orange chicken. Chinese food from Trader Joe's. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. This is legitimately better than most of the places I've ate at in Chicago. I can't even believe that I'm agreeing with you. You have no idea that was frozen. Also, Chicago, we've talked about this a little bit. I have struggled to find a good Chinese food place in Chicago. I know, I don't live close enough to Chinatown to be able to like waltz my ass down there and get like authentic, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I go to places called like, like, Ping pong? Yeah, like I'm just like, oh, this place sounds, I guess, like it serves Chinese food. Ping pong, like cheese. Are you my slave? Does this make you my slave? I'm your elf. Slave. I'm your elf, Santa. The elves get HR said you have to use the word elf. The elves get paid? We get paid in love and cheer. Jesus Christ. So today we're gonna go to ping pong. <laughs> we're gonna go to ping pong for Chinese food. What's the over under on how long I make it before I just take a knife and jam it into my skull? Jump! That'd be like if there was a, a hamburger joint in China just called football. <laughs> Call it ping pong, dude. Come on. Mm. This is so good, dude. This is really good. You pan fry this? Mm-hmm. Something I've never done. I don't think we've ever done on the show. Look at how good that looks. Nice flip. Six or sauce on Chinese food. I know. I say I say go for it. If you need more. We really are trying to get rid of all the six or sauce. Mm. Yeah. Very good. I haven't found too many foods where Sixer sauce doesn't work perfectly I, with I haven't it. found any. Yeah, the Cheerios I did recently kind of weird. Not good? No. Is it the milk or it is it the, the Cheerios? It was the milk. Okay. Mm, that's really good. Question. Answer. Is Trader Joe's the king of the frozen food section? I'd put them number one. It's ever. It's all their own brand too, so it's even more impressive. Mm-hmm. It's the breading with Chinese food. It's the breading and the fact that it's not rubbery at all. I bit into it and it's actually like a tender bite. And a couple in a row, I was like, well, that's really crazy that it's that tender. I didn't have a single piece of that bowl of chicken that wasn't exactly how I wish it would have been. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah. How's your beer? For a hot day like today, it's perfect. I like a blueberry lemonade, but it's got booze in it. My main problem with lemonade is that it doesn't get me drunk. Mm -hmm. So they've solved that problem. Mm -hmm. And then you put blueberry in it, which is obviously great. Thank you. It is a creepy mascot though. God, I hate looking at that. 
That's gonna haunt my nightmares. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna <laughs> haunt my nightmares. Like, you don't have dreams. You always have nightmares, and it's gonna haunt even yeah, those. Yeah, just different <laughs> layers of <laughs> wow. nightmare. Yeah. All right, before we go ahead and thumbs up or thumbs down, the Mandarin Orange Chicken from Trader Ming's. Let's do a shout out. Discord shout out, Discord shout out, Discord shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a Discord. If you don't know what Discord is, I didn't until really recently either, mm -hmm. and I'm just now starting to get it. It's the first version of the internet. Remember the first version of the internet that was just chat rooms? Yeah. I sure do. That was awesome. <laughs> this is basically, so chat rooms for those people who were born after 1998 or whatever. When the internet first started, you would just go find like things you were interested in, like Detroit Lions chat room. Mm -hmm. um, like what were you into? Like 30 and under. 30 and under? Mm -hmm. 30 and under chat room, all kinds of jazz, right? Discord is kind of a place where like-minded people can all get together and talk about a thing that they enjoy. <coughs> and we started one. So there's a number six with cheese Discord. I didn't know, I have, for some reason I didn't think that when we started one that it was gonna be doing well, but every time I go on there, there's new comments. It's uh, just an awesome place where we hang out, our fans hang out, and just kind of be us and talk about whatever. So I'm like, did you, get, did you tell them like, holding a burp down in my yeah, body. Yeah, you know this video is not live. You can take a moment, burp, and then continue with your pitch. You dunce. I'm only used to living in the real world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, I think it's really cool. People wake up and say like good morning to each other on there and stuff and like take pictures of their meals. If you're just into food and like talking about like meeting people on the internet or they're just like cool people. Like honestly our Discord has kind of become that. Yeah. It's like people who check in with each other and like know each other on a first name basis and people check in about their meals that night, what everyone's drinking. It's just kind of like a fun little friend hangout. It's like yeah. an internet friend hangout. It's yeah. really, it's honestly really neat. I did not think it was good, like you said, would be this cool. Yeah, I didn't get it until we made it. And right. now I like think it's actually pretty dope. I love it. So we're gonna put the Discord link. Sometimes you can, there's like, you can do ones that last forever. Most of the, most of the Discord links expire after 24 hours. Uh, we've been, I feel like we've been having a little bit of trouble with that, so I'm gonna try to put the correct one in there. But I'm basically a boomer, so if I screw it up, just comment and say like this link's not working, and I'll repost it or whatever, and I'll get it to work. Um, but yeah, we're gonna link it below in the description, and then I'll also try to uh, put it in the comment and pin it in the comment section. So go check it out. It's a lot more fun. If you're confused by it. Just a chat room. Just a chat room and check it out. Like it's way more fun than I expected as a You get to come up with a boomer. screen name. You get to make a screen name. Yeah, so come chat with us on Discord. It's super fun. Link is below the video. All right, moment of truth. Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. Thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you think the Sixers should go out to a Trader Joe's and purchase Mandarin Orange Chinese food. Oh! That's delicious. That's amazing. That's like I said, I'm not kidding. That was legitimately as good, or honestly, I think it was a little bit better than most of the Chinese food places that I order from, in, at least in the Lakeview area. And I will say, I haven't found any good ones in Lakeview area, so that might be my fault, but it was great. My new barometer for these Friday videos is can you fool your friends? And with yeah. this one, once again, if you have people over, and you want to say, I'm making homemade orange chicken, you buy three bags of that, you make it, here's what you do. Keep a little bit of like tempura flour around on the counter just to make it look like you use some. Maybe like cut up an orange peel and kind of have it in the corner of the sink. It'll make it look like you're not the lying piece of crap yeah. that you are. You can have you a cutting are. board with that stuff like kind of all sprinkled on there. Yeah, like maybe print off a fake recipe sheet of orange chicken and like leave it in the like the top. I mean, of the it can also be a real recipe. No, don't. No, have it be a fake recipe. <laughs> Type it out in Microsoft Paint and then <laughs> no print pad. it. No pad. Either way, I think uh, that was super fun to eat. Let us know if you have any Trader Joe's recommendations for the frozen food aisle. Like we've said, we think it's the goat when it comes to the frozen food aisle. Uh, and we'll see you Monday for a brand new number six with cheese video. Do I look like Weekend at Bernie's when I wear these while I talk? I look a little dead, right? A little bit. Yeah. Uh, Saga Talk, nice job with this beer. Once again, you're killing it. Sure! I'll have a drink with you. Body does get a little bloated when you die, so you look like you're full of air.